Madras High School students are leading the way when it comes to the sanctioned after-school club, eSports. You wouldn't look back at this in like 2016. You never see like a, like in your regular high school, like uh, to see one of your friends get a scholarship to go play video games like somewhere else, you know, somewhere across state or to another country, you know, and it's, uh, it's fun to see that. Madras senior Esteban Pacheco's main after-school activity is soccer, but when he's not on the pitch, He's at the screens, controller in hand. It's been it's been fun. It's been good. Um, it you know it's like a, you got to treat it like an actual like sport. You know you, you win you win some you lose some. You know. For other students like Thomas, this is their main focus. Their main sport is this after school video game program. Some days I'll practice Super Smash Bros for Wednesday tournaments or um, Tetris uh, throughout the weekdays or even at home since I'm able to do that. Um, so usually I'm pretty busy with all these games going on for being on all these teams and whatnot. There are differing opinions about video games, many believing it rots the brains or creates antisocial behavior. These students seem to know where the line is. You can definitely still see it here, the ways that gaming can be unhealthy. And you can definitely still fall into bad habits when it comes to the way that you play games. With great requirements to participate and national accolades, eSports at MHS is leveling up and rebooting that way of thinking. It's cool to see the, the correct way to game. Steelhaugen, Central Oregon Daily News.